Well, the action started in the first over, in fact. Uh, that looked as if it took the edge and no one afield, really. And then third ball with Franklin uh, bringing it back to Thurango. And that was a real setback for, New for Sri Lanka, who were this evening uh, without the services of uh, Jaya Saria. McGlashan should have gone for that, but it went for four instead. Nice straight hit down the ground. And then a drive straight into the cover, into cover's hands of Franklin. Franklin's second wicket, Jayawadna, the batsman. And a superb catch by Franklin to add to his two wickets. Sangakara played one or two good shots, but not sufficient as far as uh, Sri Lanka were concerned. Wickets continue to fall. Good full shot down towards the boundary, but a man in place. And we saw a couple of wickets fall in that area. Really wild delivery, and then a simple catch, Fleming putting it down at slip, but it didn't really matter too much. Sri Lanka didn't take advantage of it. Adams getting a wicket in this first over, that is Sangakara, important wicket. And then a good return from Fulton on the bounce, and confusion between the two batsmen. Dilshan uh, having to walk off, shaking his head. And a fine catch again. The, the catching has been good. The throwing from the outfield hasn't been all that good for New Zealand. But then in came Malinga. And as you've heard from Mark Richardson, surprised a few of us. Gillespie pulling up, which was unfortunate because he'd bowled really well and with real life. And having to limp from the field. We haven't heard exactly what the position is as far as he's concerned at the moment. A couple of streaky boundaries for Fernando, but uh, important didn't quite get the elevation on this that he not uh, the length on this hit four for Malinga good partnership very good partnership between these two at least carry them past 100 and the catch on the boundary in fact uh, literally on the boundary by McCullum counted for six boundaries flowing and uh, another one down there James Marshall on the field for Gillespie not quite being able to put it back elevation on that uh, well, not quite enough, and uh, the catch taken by Adams. Yeah. And then Malinga, knowing that he had to do something to get uh, the scoring going in the last two overs, missed for once and was bowled. So 116 for New Zealand to win. That shouldn't be a, a bother for them. Average required runs per over just 5.8. But stranger things have happened in this game of cricket.